Hey everyone, and welcome to the Unstable Opinions 14 subscribers special. We reached 14 subscribers. This is monumental. Excellent golf claps, guys. Um, of course, I'm Gabe. I'm Chris. And I'm Nick. And we're gonna talk about some stuff. We've got a we've got a real treat of a review today. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. just we just we, we, we just watched amazing. a great movie. But before before we get into that and before we get into the rest, uh, the movie we talked about last week was Joker. And since we talked about it, it's actually surpassed Deadpool to become the highest grossing R rated movie of all time. Uh, and I think it probably deserves it. It deserves it. Yeah, it, it's like, it's a really good movie. I don't really know and many other R rated movies that are more worthy of the title than Joker. Um, if anything was going to take the title, Joker yeah. would be it. Plus, because, you know, even still, like, you know, like other really good R rated movies don't really gross as much as stuff something like deadpool or joker because it's a comic book movie and that's just kind of i think the only other now. r-rated movie that probably had a chance was it too but it wasn't very good from what i've heard it was pretty good i heard it it one was a lot better it one was better but i don't think it too was <laughs> like it wasn't bad but well yeah it's just not as good i don't think it was as bad as people said it was i didn't think it was bad at I all think it was I, just, bad I just think it wasn't I, scary i never watched it i didn't think either of the like i heard it was i heard the first one was a lot but better. i don't know i loved it so much just because i was following you loved the, it the story okay good um i, I was following <laughs> the story for a while and i love uh uh king and his writing i don't think he wrote the movie well no like the story okay yeah he did have a cameo in the movie though he did have a cameo you know he, he had nothing he's not he never <laughs> really has much to do with his movies yeah uh which is why, they, he, why he, hates he gets so shining. angry yeah. yeah every time they make a movie and it doesn't have like it doesn't follow the book perfectly yeah he just gets really pissed off yeah all right so <laughs> now that now that we've got out of the way this is the unstable opinions podcast so every other week we get together talk about a movie or a game what we've been playing review something specific uh so now that we've got that little general bit out of the way, we're going to get into some, a couple different things that happened uh, since the last podcast. So uh, the first thing that we're going to talk about, which was actually kind of recent, uh, was that uh, Spider-Verse 2 just got an official release date, like two hours ago. Yeah. What was it again? Uh, April 8th. 2022 he's already got it so, down it's so it's so far it's so far away yeah. but we do have spider-man 3 in 2021 to hold us over yeah but that's 2021 there's that's gonna be plenty away. of marvel stuff before that to to tide us over but it's interesting because sony sony likes to confirm a ton of release dates like way before they have any actual plans set in stone for the movies so they've already announced like as soon as, like, before Spider-Verse even came out, they announced they were making a sequel, and they announced they were making, like, a Spider-Woman spinoff, um, and they announced they were doing, like, another... There was there was another spinoff they were talking about, I think, but basically, like, they, you know, they have something good on their hands, and they want to turn it into a cinematic universe right off the bat. Uh, so, the, yeah, so <laughs> the, fact that, the fact that a Spider-Verse sequel is coming isn't, isn't news, but... Just the fact the fact that we have a date, I think, is exciting. And also, um, I I think I'm I'm assuming that this movie is gonna be the actual like direct Spider Verse sequel. So it'll be interesting whether or not the plans they had for like the Spider Woman spinoff gets like it gets kicked off in this movie, or whether those movies happen like later down the road, whether they are like in production around the same time. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about it because uh, Spider Verse is m one of my favorite movies of all time. Just being a massive Spider Man fan, it was just there was so much about that movie that was like, especially like I'm pretty sure because they they were both from Sony Pictures Animation, and the Emoji Movie came out in the, <laughs> the same. I'm oh pretty gosh. sure it was the same year. This I is where you're so going with this. The, I think the Emoji Movie may have been the year before. May yeah, maybe, but regardless, it's just, I feel like it was a huge uh, show of the potential that that studio has, should they get 
talented people to work on a project they're passionate about. So I, if the sequel is anything like that. I, I really hope really they good. have the same people it's, working on it. It's yeah, like, the like no one different. Like they that. did it so well. Yeah. I think I, I Phil Lord and Chris Miller already <laughs> tweeted about it, so I'm assuming they're going to come back. Uh, but uh, as for the rest, I guess it remains to be seen. But I just hope that it's and like nearly as good as the first one. I don't expect it to be better, but we'll see. It's still really early days. Yeah. Okay, so um, moving on in recent news, um, there is the movement going on, the Team Trees movement, which for if you haven't heard yet, it's where YouTubers are um, like raising con- – um, they're like trying to get donations for – 20 million dollars yeah because mr <coughs> beast hit 20 million subscribers yeah so he's trying to get 20 million dollars donated for 20 million trees to be planted and uh recently they just hit 10 million dollars but let me they so their whole schedule was they're gonna end this fundraiser at the end of 2019 so january 1st 2020 is the end but one week in <coughs> they've raised 10 million dollars I think they can get. They're gonna reach like much, million. yeah, much higher than twenty million. I mean, That's awesome. they should change the goal to twenty-five million because Mr. Beast is at that now. Yeah. They should just try to catch up to whatever Mr. Beast subscriber count is, and then plant that many trees. I think it's gonna help so much. I was um, looking into a few different articles about like what this could actually do for for like. There the was planet. one video I watched. It's basically like one tree hold it's like home to 500 different animals yeah and it helps with it like, like the, the whole oxygen carbon emission it'll make the air cooler in the world so it's like the more trees we i think we saw down, the same video probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i mean they made the video for team trees so yeah it was yeah. a team trees video but See, it's, I it's barely, awesome like, yeah i i think it's great like i barely like i didn't know that much about the movement other than like what you guys told me i read a little bit about it on twitter uh, but I th- I just think it's really cool when like someone with a following uses it to make a positive yeah. change like that. So I think we my are... favorite part about it was when Elon Musk came out of nowhere and he's like, "Yo a million. guys, I'm gonna donate a million dollars." <laughs> and someone else do- donated a million too. He don't. So- Didn't you say YouTube was gonna match it or something? YouTube said he's gonna match the next million dollars donated. Yeah. Okay. But you, I was is it YouTube the the YouTube guy? the guy. <laughs> like the, the human YouTube being. the person. I know the Twitter CEO donated a hundred thousand maybe i think but there were a lot of people that just donated a hundred thousand then there's pewdiepie for mr us. beast donated 69,420. yeah my favorite number mr beast donated a hundred thousand a few times yeah because he was like i'm gonna beat people He's yeah like, i want this number someone one spot. he yeah he put a hundred thousand someone else put a hundred thousand one and then he put a hundred thousand and two and then Elon Musk put a million. And he's like, no, nope, I'm <laughs> not, not matching gonna, that. Yeah. You can't match that. Mm. It's, that's, that's pretty awesome. It's awesome that people are getting competitive with something that can actually like help out mm. the whole world. Yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the right <laughs> thing to get competitive about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, now one last thing uh, I just kind of wanted to mention before we get into what we've been playing uh, the last week. Mm. Uh, Toby Fox, uh, creator of Undertale, uh has revealed that he is composing well he has composed a track for pokemon sword and shield that... can we link that in the video because it's so good yeah yeah i'll, Probably, I'll, I'll yeah. find it somewhere i'll put a link in the description it's 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 awesome you can you can tell that he's the one that composed it like once you know uh but I, I just think it's really cool game, game freak seems to really like toby fox because well, he's <laughs> also composing for that he, other game that they're making it's already out town oh he composed the entire soundtrack Oh, I didn't even. It, it came see, out a few weeks ago, but it's. I like, didn't know it was out. <laughs> I, I knew, but I'm like, I think it's a twenty dollar game. I didn't know yeah. he was. Twenty or thirty. I didn't know he was composing that. He composed the entire. I knew he soundtrack was composing for, for it. I didn't know he composed. The I entire saw it. Soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, I saw the the game like uh, coming out, but I didn't know that he was actually involved in it. That's awesome. Yeah. He's Just, so he's, talented. He's I mean, if world. Game Freak <laughs> really loves him, then the next Pokemon game half the soundtrack might be by him, and I would be fine mm-hmm. with I'm it. I'm okay with that. And next Smash Brothers Sans will actually be a character. Because <laughs> Game Freak is going to connect him with people at Nintendo. Yeah. Well, I guess he already is connected with Sakurai. But anyway. Okay, so now uh, moving on to uh, what we've all been playing this last week before we get into the review. 
Uh, so does anyone want to start, or should I go first? Chris, you start. I have to think about this. I don't think I'm <laughs> yeah. playing much yeah. different. I'm trying to think of something else to talk yeah. about. So uh, this last week, so uh, you, you guys know Nakey Jakey, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, Nakey Jakey, he's a YouTuber. He's awesome. Uh, he makes really funny videos. True. Uh, he put out a video uh called horror in video games and he said at the very beginning he just put up a bunch of uh game logos he's like okay i'm gonna be spoiling all of these games in this video so if you care about that then leave (laughs) and i was like well i really want to watch this video but i hadn't completed like there was a couple games on that list that i cared about that i hadn't finished uh so uh the first one was uh batman arkham asylum uh I've, I've had the game for a little while, but I hadn't ever played it before. Uh, so I beat that game in two days. Uh, mm-hmm. I just kind of marathoned it. That game was really cool. Uh, and I'm, I have the, the other games too, so I'm going to play those soon. And then as soon as I was done with that, I started Bioshock, because Bioshock was another game uh, that was going to be spoiled in that video. And I, I watched the video too, and he barely talks about spoilers at all. And it's not even like major stuff. Uh, but I'm still glad that I went back to those games uh, because I've been meaning to play them. And Bioshock even was a game that I had already played before but just never finished. And I still haven't finished it now because I caved and watched the video anyway. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I am probably going to go back and play it soon. But I stopped playing Bioshock because Luigi's Mansion 3 came out. <laughs> and that's basically all I've been doing <laughs> that's for the taken last up this, two days. this day. Yeah. I came over and I played three hours with him. So that yeah. just... And he's been playing... Because Gabe wasn't here for a while, and I, I was playing it, and I was like, hey, there's co-op if you want to play with me. So we played two areas of the game together. Uh, th- that game is it's so awesome. It's like... Luigi's Mansion 1 and 2 both do a lot of things right. Um, 2 had some disappointing aspects of it. I feel like 3 kind of takes the best parts of 1 and 2 and kind of puts them together and adds its own uh, original stuff to it. I think my only problem with the game is that it takes place in a hotel. (laughs) (laughs) It's not Luigi's Mansion. It can't really be Luigi's Mansion if it's in a hotel. God. Okay, so can I can I pause and talk about this? Are you going to go on a High School Musical <laughs> High School tangent? Musical 2 does not... One, it doesn't have anything to do with a High oh School Musical. God. Two, they're not in high school at the time. The, mu- the movie takes place during summer break. It has nothing to do Jesus with high school. Jesus Christ. Gabe and I the have whole story. an ongoing, <laughs> never-ending argument about... The fact that High School Musical 2, he thinks it shouldn't be called High School Musical 2 because it doesn't take place in a high school. It's, but just, there's still, it's just Troy and his life. There's it's, still... It's, just, it's so much more than that. It's It's got Corbin Blue from Jump In. Oh, Corbin Blue's in there. It's got Vanessa Hudgens. It's got Ashley Tisdale. It's got whatever the other guy's name is. The Ashley brother. Tisdale's <laughs> brother or friend brother or whatever. <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> but... They're the really still, charismatic they're dude. They're still high schoolers, and the movie is a musical. So There's a lot still... of movies about high schoolers that aren't called high school musicals. Because musical. that's copyright infringement. <laughs> they could call it anything else, and it wouldn't change the movie. You're not going to call it high school musical. Anyway, this doesn't matter. It's not important. So, uh, any, anyway, uh, that's what so I've that's, been playing. That's a nice funny So, thing. Gabe, you want to you wanna take uh, over? Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really been really playing anything new this week because the only game I've played is Luigi's Mansion, which I played with Chris, and then some duck game with Gabe super late at night. Oh which yeah, you we guys saw that. last video. Well, was that the, was that no, us recording for the? We, no. we we played duck game after we recorded just yeah, because that was the first time in a while we played it and it was pretty fun. And so me and Gabe got back on and he completely um, destroyed me. Yeah, I think you were like sick and sleeping or something. I was. No, he yeah. couldn't get on. Cause... Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, someone was. He couldn't get on. to I couldn't his use computer. the computer. Yeah. Um, I mean, other than that, uh, I can talk about. I haven't PewDiePie played... dropped mine all day. That's a pretty good song. That was a very good, <laughs> very good song. It, it turned into two songs. It was and two it was songs. Amazing. It was so good. Uh, I can talk about old games that I've been like playing recently. Like I, duck game. Yeah. Um, yeah, duck game, sure. <laughs> uh, I play this game called FTL, and it's like a space strategy game where you have to, um, you, you have like a, you start with a ship, you get to pick out which ship you want to start with, and you have a crew, and then you have to fight your way 
through like hordes of these enemies that are attacking your like your commander your your base so you have to fight your way into it's their like a tower defense no it's not a tower defense it's like a um i don't know what the what the term for it would be um a turn-based battle okay kind of game um is it like is it what system is it on a good computer okay that's what i thought yeah i just play it all like my, my friend introduced me to it mm -hmm. and i it's so hard it gets so hard so fast i've been playing it for like two years and i've only beaten like the first two round like levels of it to unlock two other ships yeah and then that that's basically how you, how you progress is you unlock a new ship and then it's even more difficult hmm. to to get to the to your commander to tell them that the enemy's coming and that's how you finish it and unlock a new ship and it's really cool that's cool i, I haven't I have a lot I of fun i've ever heard of that game i've never heard of yeah, it yeah i have a lot of fun with it yeah well well, <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe. Faster than light is what it says. Oh wait, I have heard of that. Yeah, yeah. FTL, faster than light. Huh? How old is it? Um, it's pretty. It's pretty old because it's. It was like the, if I if I'm right, if I remember correct, it was like the companies that made it like their first big game. Yeah. That started them up, and then they made like another. Okay. Like kind of space game spinoff. Yeah. Because I feel lore. like I feel like I remember a game called ftl faster than light releasing recently but it might have been like a remaster or something or like a re-release yeah i have no idea but i think it's i think it's pretty it's old. cool so the it's game's like... old but you know what's also old the stupid ass movie you guys <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay so <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that yeah so there i have so <laughs> there's so. a reason why i had us sit down and watch the super mario brothers movie from <laughs> So that <laughs> others start, didn't have to. The, yeah, I think this movie came out. It came out in the '90s. I don't remember what year exactly. It's surprising that it so came it out was, before '64 came out. Yeah, before so, Super Mario '64. Yeah. So basically, uh, there's there's a there's a project going on right now. It's it's along along the same lines as something like Shrek Retold, uh, where like a group of fans is like hosting a fan remake of the movie in its entirety um so i saw that was happening and i was like oh my god i want to be a part of that so <laughs> i decided do all this it just? was time it was time to rewatch the movie to see if there like what to just get an idea i guess of like what scenes i could like possibly put together a recreation of uh and that that's led us here <laughs> and also uh we we were gonna review zombie land this week we were gonna do a full length review of Zombie Land, but me and Nick did. But see they it. never, <laughs> Nick and Gabe never made it out to the theater to see it. So we tried. We're improvising. <laughs> we were using the Super Mario Brothers movie instead. So this is a movie. It's from the '90s. Uh, it stars Bob Hoskins as Mario and John Leguizamo as Luigi. And it's basically, I think, Gabe put it best about <laughs> an hour and a half into this movie, towards the very end, when t the characters start disintegrating. <laughs> And merging into alternate dimensions, and he goes, "What the fuck does this have to do with Mario?" It was so, a, that movie was a trip. Yeah, it I've was, seen it before. You and me have. We seen, have seen yeah. it before, but honestly, I don't know how. I didn't remember half of that stuff. Yeah, I think my mind didn't want to remember. It. <laughs> you suppressed it from your memory. I probably. I'm trying did. to suppress it, but I still don't have to talk I think about like it right you, now. You, the last time you watched it, you were playing it in like the. Like I played it big, on the projector. Yeah, on a projector yeah. on a, in a big room, in a big living room. Yeah. And I tried to leave the room as many times as I could <laughs> just to miss the movie. <laughs> what a fun movie, though. What a Nick, fun Nick, time. Nick, this was your first time watching it. Uh-huh. <laughs> What'd you think? I mean, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the best movie I've ever I wanted to die. <laughs> This I I think this is one of those movies where I just I watch it. There's so many things <laughs> that don't make any sense. It's barely connected to the source material at all, to the point where you have no idea why it's even connected to source material to begin with. I'm okay, but okay, it does not make sense. You're <laughs> right, but if you do take it in Mario terms, it does make sense. It's... But I don't. Okay, so they they tried so much to make the mario 
world into like a realistic sort of like but why like did they have thing? to go in the they i don't even think it was that i think it was they direction. created their own little dinosaur dystopia and then they're like where can we insert mario references in here the bomb like like literally like, <laughs> <Ba-bomb>. <laughs> like it's just like they the have only like reference the, sho- they the, have. the shoes that make them like fly in the air that you know call them thwomps we're gonna call or like it have like holy. have like the club bouncer oh she's 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 fat and she wears red so name her after big bertha the fish that eats you see if they're <laughs> in a parallel universe I don't know why they can't just make it so that there is a giant fish that tries to eat you. And yeah. that's a normal thing. It's like if in you're gonna make universe. it a parallel it's a universe, com- you might as well make everything as weird it's as it was in the game. It's a completely different reality. If something is not realistic, it it's okay mm-hmm. because well, this isn't our reality. <laughs> but I was gonna say, I was gonna say earlier, just despite all of that, I still. It is one of those so bad it's good movies to me. I enjoyed I just, it. Oh, I, I really it enjoyed it, but and it was nothing, also awful. Nothing makes sense. You you just have to wonder how the hell the the decision making process ended up ending up like making the movie that it did. But it's just so much fun to just watch and just question literally everything that happens on screen. Like how did how did people go into a room? And sit down for a couple hours. And this come is my out. vision. And for the all Super Mario the, they're movie. all in agreement that that How Mario did they agree to should put this movie in theaters. Travel yeah. After into it. a dinosaur realm, <laughs> and yeah. every everyone is just a dinosaur. Everything comes from everything's yep. an evolution of a dinosaur. Because the meteorite split the dimensions, Shh. and literally, <laughs> the, despite the fact that the meteorite came crashing into the Earth at a billion miles an hour. It literally only one little tiny piece of the meteorite fell off, and that's the plot device. That's the MacGuffin for the entire movie. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, and yeah. I love it. I love the movie. I love that. <laughs> it's, it's classic. It's so good. Yeah, I think – so I guess the story behind it is that uh, Nintendo sold – like there was a bidding war for the rights to the Super Mario Brothers movie, and like – Warner Brothers like wanted it. I think Disney wanted it because I think they wanted if it. Warner but... Brothers or Disney got it. There would have been a real movie. Yeah, and, but like it's like also that would have had major like ramifications yeah. too because like Disney wanted the rights so they could put Mario characters in the Disney parks and stuff like that. Um, and like with all the IP that Disney owns now, it's like that's like that'd be a really weird path if that ended up happening. Yeah. But I think if I guess Nintendo was like worried about big companies like. They, I guess it was kind of weird. I guess it was like a sort of integrity thing. They wanted to see what a smaller company would do with it. So <laughs> I, I don't know whether that was like Miyamoto's call, but they, they ended up selling it to a studio for way less money than other companies were bidding for it. And then like uh, it like the script was rewritten like a dozen times. Like I guess like in interviews, actors were saying that like they would learn they wouldn't even bother like learning their lines because they knew the script was going to be different the next day. <laughs> um Bob Hoskins was like injured multiple times and like I guess nobody like I like Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo both said that they had to get drunk just to make it through the day shooting the movie. It just it just sounds like it was just a nightmare. But I mean that's how it was that's how it came out. Yeah. And so it's like even considering that it could have been so much worse. Now, Warner Brothers does Nintendo like partner with them? Because I don't think they sold them the Pokemon rights, but they no. need Detective Pikachu. No, I think I think Warner Brothers only distributed Detective Pikachu in North America. I think I think I thought they were part of the whole production. I don't think because so. I, I think, could be wrong about that, I, but we'll look at that. I'd later. have yeah, to look yeah. more into that. But I'm pretty sure Warner Brothers just distributed it in North America. I but. just don't think Nintendo has that kind of film power. Yeah, well, see, because after this movie, you know, it was a disaster. And they, you know, they held off, like, even though, like, they, like, in the 80s and 90s, Nintendo was much more lenient with, like, handing out their properties to other companies, <laughs> but, like, even though the other, uh, like, having their properties in other companies' hands wasn't working out that well for them up to this point, um, this movie was just kind of the nail in the coffin, and they just kind of kept their properties under wraps for, like, another 20 years until like recent times when they announced they were going to do like you know because the pokemon company they're kind of their own thing 
Uh, but like you know, they announced they were gonna do the Mario movie with uh, Illumination, and that's still kind of under wraps in the works. Um, is it gonna be animated? Yeah, again? yeah. I feel like animated is the only. Yeah. Like, that's the only way you can go with a good Mario. Yeah, movie. that's another. That's another bizarre thing about this movie is that it's like it, the you. It's so it, it it is weird because it was made like yeah I know I know I'm just I feel like nowadays stuttering, stuttering over my words but stupid. it is weird because it was made really early in the Mario series lifespan relatively speaking so you could say like oh you know since the games were like relatively simple in the depiction of the world it's easier for them to take liberties with it but by this point the Mario cartoons had already been going for a long time and they already demonstrated how you can translate that world. I mean, I guess it's easier because it was 2D animation. Yeah. But even still, like, you know, they could have done something with that world in live action because better representations of the Mario world had been done before in other mediums. But they just decided, for some reason, they're like, okay, it's going to be all about dinosaurs, (laughs) and it's going to be parallel dimensions, and... Mario and Luigi's only character traits is that they're plumbers. And so many decisions. Like went the wrong fungus with this movie. is like the fungus is the previous king, the king and that's yeah. where the mushrooms come from and he like grows all over the city to help them. It's, it's just they I don't understand. They didn't eat any mushrooms. It. They didn't grow. Yeah. I don't understand how you have a world that's already as bizarre as the Mario world and you decide you want to go and a completely different direction with it and make a movie that would if you changed the name of the two main characters you could still pass it off as a completely separate movie and nobody would ever know that it was connected to the mario universe the Other only the, thing the bombs and yeah. bullet bill but see that's the thing is like they don't even do they even call it a bullet bill they just show no they just show bill. it it's like at that point it is the thing of like they made this movie and then they're looking for ways to insert references to Mario. They weren't taking things from Mario and adapting it into this yeah. other world. They made this other world, and then they're saying, okay, where can we put references to Mario? Oh, this this singing hobo on the side of the street. Like, that, that, that's could toad. Toad. that could be Toad. That could be Toad. That's Toad. Let's shave his head in a swirl. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. what are we going to call the minions when they, they de-evolve? Oh, uh, Goombas. Into, uh, into Goombas. weird dinosaur creatures. Yeah, yeah a Goomba. 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 That could be the Goombas. Yeah, and then... Koopa, there's only it's President Koopa, and he's like, it's like, why didn't they just call him Bowser? Because it was I don't know. so it was annoying me the entire time. He's like, he's King Koopa. I'm like, it's King yeah. They call him King Koopa on the cartoons too. It's and, just and he was, Bowser. He's been, I don't, I don't know. It was it was kind of weird. I think they, like that company already had like a movie, kind of like planned out. That was like this. Oh, and they just they, and then they they, they heard thought. that Mario was gonna be for sale. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, wait, they we can, can do it. something with this. We can sell this, <laughs> and that's how they got yeah. Nintendo I mean, to partner with that's, them. That's entirely. And then they possible. rewrote the script, and then they rewrote it again, and then yeah. they kept putting references in. They're like, and then okay, it, these there are two main characters from, from New York. They're Mario and Luigi now, and they're they're plumbers, and everything's about pipes. And you know, and, oh, the dinosaurs. Didn't Mario the Odyssey confirm that Mario and Luigi are not humans? No, no, they did. They did say they are humans. Like basically, well, why I is guess the, Mario so short. The, the well, the people. I, I I forget who it was specifically, but someone that worked on the game said like you know the other people kinda, aren't humans. No, he said like you know people come in all shapes and sizes because they're just from different parts of the world. Uh. And I guess that game also kind of retconned the fact that Mario and Luigi are from real life New York, because New Donk City is supposed to be like where Donkey Kong took place. So, I guess I mean, that it, kind of that kind of just removes the fact that they were in real life Brooklyn and just got transported to the Mushroom Kingdom. But they're just in the Mushroom World, and New Donk City is just similar. I mean, to if New York. you think about it, like all the video games have proven to have these multiverses, especially with Smash Bros. <laughs> but I feel like Mario yeah. isn't that they don't want to get that complicated with it. They just kind of want to go with whatever they want at the moment. That's why Peach's Castle changes locations every game. It's a multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we were saying too, the, the movie also kind of like has some things that would seem like references to future games, but the future games weren't out. 
at yeah, the they time. had uh, so to travel into the other world. They kind of jumped into a wall and then it started like moving back yeah. and forth, just like a painting. Yeah, in they 64. like disintegrated. It has the same ripple effect as the paintings from sixty four. And, and, and I like, mean, they they kind of broke apart to go into them, like like you were saying. Yeah, in, like in sunshine. sunshine. Yeah, and then they were they. Uh, like all sli- all the princesses or the women <laughs> with with Luigi slid yeah. down the pipe and it was like the it was like Peach's secret slide. Yeah, <laughs> it, I I was saying too the uh what whatever her name is Daniela I think Mar- Mario's girlfriend from instead New York. of Peach for some reason. Yeah, but it's like I I'm kind of glad they didn't make it Peach just because it's like Peach <laughs> like. She, it's, she mean, wouldn't have been a princess. But it's just... like you know, every at that point, everything in the ga- in the movie is so far re- removed from the games that you could just say you can say any character is a character from the games, and you're like, okay, I guess. <laughs> but but I, guess. I was just like, you know, like before they revealed what her name was, I was like, who is that? And I was like, oh, maybe it's Pauline because it's Mario's girlfriend from New York. Yeah. And I was like, maybe if they were gonna put a reference in, they would make her Pauline, but her name's Daniela, for no reason. Like but but Daisy is Pauline. named after Daisy from Super Mario Land, the Game Boy game. Yep. Because that was that was the only uh, representation Daisy had had up until the movie came out was. Is that being the first in... time Daisy was Luigi's love interest? Yeah. Huh. Because so Luigi originated... wasn't even in Super Mario Land. So that, and that was the that was the game that Daisy was movie. from. Huh. <laughs> okay. There's I at think least the only one times, good thing like, that could yeah. come out of the movie. I think the only times that. Uh, Luigi and Daisy have been implied to be to be a couple since have been in the Mario Kart games because I, I think Daisy they have Circuit. Yeah, Daisy Circuit has like a, a statue of them together and then like I think in Mario Kart Double Dash there's like uh there's like if you put I, I don't I don't know if it's Double Dash or if it's another game, but if you put Daisy and Luigi on a team it there's like a name for their team that implies that they're a couple. Uh but I don't know. It's kind of. I was saying it was weird that Daisy wasn't in uh, Luigi's Mansion Three because it's like yeah, they have Peach, Mario, and Toads, but where is Daisy? Yeah, Luigi isn't bringing Daisy on this vacation with him. <laughs> it's like they <laughs> they're com- kind of an on again, off again. Thing. It's like they completely ignore Daisy. She has to go back to the other. They put her in Smash. No, she has to go back to the dinosaur realm. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, she doesn't yeah. know where she belongs. She comes back three weeks three weeks later. She's like, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I believe it. <laughs> I believe. And she, she never explains what yeah. it was that they didn't believe until Super Mario Brothers Two comes no, out. No, the new Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the new Super Mario. It's movie. like it's like the animated one is called New Super Mario Brothers. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nintendo would do that. They I mean, that. it'd be nice for them to allude to it, but have that be the only allusion you make. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> please. Yeah, apparently I was looking it up. So they, you know, they tease a sequel at the end of this movie. Uh, for for some reason, and uh, apparently, so this movie has like a cult following, like <laughs> oh, there's God. there's a whole and it's it like I, have, it would need to have a cult like, following I, for for fans to be remaking and it's like, it. Yeah, now. I told I totally respect that and admire that because there's a there's a website I think it's called like it's SMB Movie Archive and they have like they got a hold of a ton of the props and like I don't even know what? how this happened but they were able to get the movie re released on Blu Ray. Like a few week, a few years back, uh, and I don't know how that works with like the, the distribution rights or anything, but uh, yeah. So apparently, I was trying to look it up while we were watching the movie. Apparently, there was like a fan made sequel web comic that they actually consulted one of the screenwriters on the movie for uh, to kind of put together fulfill the the sequel hook at the end of the movie. I tried to look it up, but the website wouldn't work. I don't know if the, it's gotten taken down. I want to try to find it because I kind of want to know what happens next. Uh, but I, that's the closest we're ever going to get to a sequel to this movie. But I do. I would like to see if Nintendo is becoming a little bit more open about sharing their their properties with other companies. I would like to see them. They they are also kind of like getting better about like making fun of past mistakes like i like in luigi's <laughs> mansion 3 the whole ui is based around the virtual boy and like uh egad is saying like just wait till i get the marketing material for this thing it's gonna fly off oh the shelves. my god um so i'd like that i'd like it if like eventually they go back and they acknowledge like 
the Zelda CDI games and this movie and the the cartoons like in Mario Odyssey two or whatever like the next Mario. 3D game. Because they have a costume based on Bob Hoskins Mario or something. Yeah, no. I don't they're, know if they'll ever do it, but I would love to see it. They're still like pretty big things. Everyone's always talking about like the, fi- the these mess ups that Nintendo's made. Yeah. We we went and watched the movie. Yeah. Right now, and it's so many years later, but it's just yeah. Like not many companies can acknowledge it and it be a like yeah. a good thing. And it's like overall, like speaking in terms of the grand scheme of things. This is far from the worst mistake Nintendo's ever made. Because, like, they barely had anything to do with it. They kind of just sold it to them. They're like, okay, let's see what they did with it. What they did with it ended up being really bizarre and weird. It didn't make a lot of money. (laughs) Uh, And it's just kind of, you know, a weird, like, cult film now. But it doesn't really hurt anyone. Yeah, but... It's not... I I forget what my point was (laughs) with with this. But, like, you know... It's entertaining. Oh, yeah, I was saying they've made far worse mistakes before. Like, Nintendo backing out of a deal with Sony is the reason why PlayStation exists today. Yeah. So they they have that going for them. They have the Zelda CDI games, the Virtual Boy, the Wii U, I guess, would be another one. Uh, But uh, I think it's all going to serve them for the better, and... I think now now that they're especially with the Switch now that they're in a better state they're sharing their IP with other companies again. Uh, yes, I feel yeah, like it's about time that they start acknowledging that stuff. I think they I mean they they learned from their mistakes definitely. Mm-hmm. They they took the the Wii U and now we have the Switch. I mean it's like I, I, I can see that they derived some of the ideas from that, like tablet technology. I'm going just... to assert dominance right now. We're going on giant tangents, so we should give the movie a score. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you want to end it now? Well, we're talking about we use and switches, not yeah. the movie. Well, I mean, there we're isn't really much else. We're What do you think we're <laughs> supposed to do? <laughs> there isn't really much else to say about the movie. I mean... It's really bizarre. It has nothing to do with Mario. It's not that good, but we loved watching it. Okay, what's the score so, system? Gabe, s- give us a score system. All right, um, I'm going to give it um, six. By the way, the Wii U was the biggest mistake we've <laughs> ever made. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we have the Switch out of it, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Six um, ba-bombs <laughs> out of 13 and a half ba-bombs. It's a weird, it's an yeah. oddly specific maximum score. Well, Nick, I do what I want. <laughs> um, how many bombs am I doing it out of? But you can come up with. Uh, your you can own do whatever system. you oh. want. We all did something different okay. last time. I'm gonna give it four bullet bills mm-hmm. out of ten bullet bills. But I think mathematically speaking, it's around where I put my. I'm gonna give it ten oh. plungers out of a goomba. <laughs> Shut okay, up! Oh, so no way. so uh, wait, I'm a walking out. So wait, what were you saying before? Nick cut you off. Do you remember? Uh, Wii U is bad, but the Switch is very good. They learned much. <laughs> they, learned, <laughs> yeah. they did a bad but it turned into a good yeah. after many the years they should have just library they should have I'm, I'm glad they're porting it over so more people get to play it on they should have just waited i mean the technology wasn't exactly there <laughs> but if but they is, waited, that wasn't even what they were trying to do with the wii u though yeah i know it was but, that was a whole different thing like the the idea wasn't for it to be portable but that's but, what people wanted. that's what people wanted that's what people assumed like once people got past the assumption that it was an add-on to the Wii, people assume that you could take the gamepad with you. So yeah. the Switch kind of delivers on being a successor and being able to take it with you, and they're porting over all the best games. So there isn't really a, much. There's not, you can't really be mad to start now. Porting 3DS games soon. That would be cool. I but I don't that. know how they would do it with like touchscreen stuff. I mean, I guess the Switch has the a Switch touchscreen, touch but you need to have it out of the dock to play 3DS. Yeah, games. that's yep, true. I feel like, so. but they would like make like. Make a kind of deluxe version where yeah. you don't need the bottom screen anymore. Yeah, because they did what they did that with uh, Captain Toad, where like you use the gyro controls instead of using the Wii U gamepad. Um, oh, I, I want to use gyro controls. <laughs> <laughs> gyro controls are great. Not in Gungeon. Well, obviously, <laughs> Gungeon's I mean, a top-down game. Gungeon's <laughs> in, in 3D games like Splatoon <laughs> and Luigi's Mansion, they're great. Uh, I wanted to say this because I, I had it on the mind because uh, I was talking about Nintendo. Uh, just kind of acknowledging that the Super Mario Brothers movie exists. Um, I saw uh, a thing 
uh, th there's a website called theyeti.com where I get a, a lot of really good uh, like video game related shirts from, not oh, sponsored. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, there was there was a shirt they had a couple weeks back uh, called Into the Plumberverse. And it was just, it was, I, I regret not buying it. Uh, I guess I just forgot about it when it was on sale because they only do shirts on sale for like 24 hours at a time and then they go away. Um, but it was a shirt with like a bunch of different versions of Mario on it. So like they had, and they had like 8-bit Mario, they had modern Mario, they had cartoon Mario, um, Captain Lou Albano Mario, Bob Hoskins Mario. Uh, and it just kind of makes me sad that even if, they wanted to go back and acknowledge that the Mario movie exists. They wouldn't be able to do like a proper like reunion, I guess, because Bob Hoskins isn't around anymore. And like from the old show, Captain Lou Albano and Danny Wells are both dead, which is mm -hmm. really sad. Um, but we always have great <laughs> Mario content, like the Super Mario Brothers movie and the Mario Super Show. Can we watch to... the Super Show and review it next I time? I would love to watch the Super, the Super Show and watch it next I'm time. I'm going to be gone next time. Gone. <laughs> yeah. not coming back. Have you never seen the Super Show? No, I've seen I've seen a little bit of it. Dude, but I have. I've definitely not seen it. I have, literally, back here on I've the show. I've been looking at it. I have this whole the time. two box sets. I mean, I've, I've seen it over there, and I'm like, that's yeah. interesting. I need to get the box sets for um the Mario 3 and Mario World shows. We can watch it, but we're not reviewing it after one of these. I would what well, we could talk about it at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it could be something. The, those those cartoons are hilarious because they they're animated by like an overseas company, I guess. I guess a lot of stuff is now, but it was animated I don't want to say cheaply, but I guess there was kind of communication errors or whatever. There's there's just blatant errors like where there will be That's scenes a blatant racist lies. There'll be th there'll <laughs> be scenes There'll be scenes where Princess Peach is supposed to be talking. They call her Princess Toadstool because for some mm -hmm. reason America refused to call her Princess Peach back then. Yeah, that, that's. Um, I, I I remember reading up about yeah. that, that. Like that was her old name or something. Well, the first, yeah, the her first name was name. Princess Peach from the start in Japan, but they changed it to Toadstool because I guess they thought it made more sense for her to be the the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. But it, Peach is just better, so they changed it after sixty four. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Um, there will be scenes where she's supposed to be talking and it's like coming out of Luigi's mouth or something <laughs> or like or like Mario and Luigi they're standing next to each other and Mario's green but Luigi's red oh my god it's so bizarre and it's like it's, that actually just have to, yeah you have to wonder because this stuff probably takes a really long time to animate you have to wonder how they animate it and not realize that there's something wrong oh with the scene oh my god I think they did it on purpose <laughs> There's no other way that they could have. I mean, let if you're it pass. Mess something up that bad, you're doing it on purpose, and then not fix it while know. you're doing it. I mean, if you're getting paid to do it, I don't know why you would I mean, intentionally just like, screw it up. Let Yoshi on your screen. But I think it's also very telling that they, the, the American company, got the scenes back, and they, wa they probably didn't even like watch them. They just like. They just, just they they skimmed over it. They're like, okay, yeah, it's good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Give me put more. it on four kids or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want. Put it where, where whatever yeah. channel. I've still never watched a full episode of the Zelda cartoon, so maybe that'll be an episode for another There's day. There's a Zelda cartoon. Yeah, yeah, they they had previews for it in every single episode of the Mario cartoon. I watched a YouTube poop clip of it. <laughs> yeah, he says poop. This is uh, poop. Uh, poop jokes. Okay, no. <laughs> All right. Well, this has so, been fun. Yeah, we th we I feel like we went on way more tangents than I was expecting, but I can't help it when we talk about Mario. There's just so much to talk about. Uh, so I guess we've already given the movie a rating. So anyway, watch the Super Mario Brothers movie, or don't 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 watch it by yourself. Don't watch <laughs> by yourself. Get get a bunch of friends together and watch it so you or can like all two make fun of it and just have a great time because it is a great time. I would say. <laughs> I had personally. A, a wonderful time. And with maybe. My two best pals. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, that's Tyler. really touching. <laughs> it was never... Mario and Luigi. Those yeah. are my two oh. best pals. Who oh. uh, okay. are you two free? There'll never be a movie um, like this again, and that makes me sad, but it's okay. 
I mean, I think that this is the only. I think movie if like I watched it alone, I would have stopped at the first five minutes. But because I had YouTube, <laughs> I would have stopped when Mario's tumbling through the portal. I would have stopped like two <laughs> miles an hour, just falling slowly. Through the <laughs> I, that was the best CGI. I would have stopped the when they started movie. fading away, and then <laughs> uh, King. What does it? What the hell yeah. does this have to do with Mario? All right. Yeah. So the King was like, "We're merging dimensions. <laughs> Enjoy Infinity the movie." War. Yeah. Have fun. You can find it in a bargain bin at Best Buy for five dollars. That's how I found it. Or somewhere illegal online, but I'm or not. find us. Don't we'll give it to. You. <laughs> we don't condone that. We don't I condone. Mean, uh, we will give you the uh, movie. We'll give it what? away. No, that's my movie. You can't do that. I'm giving it away. He watches it too much. He actually Wait. watches it every I've day. I've seen it twice, and one of them was that's twice a day. That's too many. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this has been Unstable Opinions. Thank you. Thank you for listening. For Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Donate to Eventually. Team Trees. Donate to Team Trees. Team Trees is great. And we will hopefully catch you guys next time. Thank you for listening. In two weeks. See ya. Bye. <laughs>